If you're familiar with building access control systems, you've probably heard the term Wigan protocol being thrown around, but you may have no idea what it actually is other than it being an important part of making any access control system work. I'm here to change that. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for all things related to security systems and solutions. In this video, I'm going to explain what the Wigan protocol is, how it works, and why it is so popular, and a few drawbacks to the Wigan protocol. Let's start with a basic definition. The Wigan protocol, also commonly called the Wigan interface, is a wiring standard found on card readers and access control systems, and it has become the most commonly used communication method for such systems since the 1980s. In simpler terms, it's the wiring standard used to connect card readers, fingerprint scanners, or other biometric readers to each other and the rest of the access control system. You might also see it referred to as a 26-bit format, referring to the specific system of binary data it uses. Now I'll explain a bit about its history and how it works. The name Wiegand comes from the creator of the German-born engineer John R. Wiegand, who in the 1970s discovered that wires made of a cobalt iron and vanadium alloy will switch polarity when run through strong magnetic fields. Placing a sensor coil nearby will be capable of picking up the change in polarity as a high voltage pulse, and then translate that pulse into data. He used these discoveries to create what became known as Wiegand wires and Wiegand cards. A Wiegand card uses two short wires which store data magnetically in the card. These two wires are known as data low or data zero and data high or data one. When the card is pulled through the reader, the wires transmit the either high or low voltage signal as ones and zeros, respectively, creating a binary data line for authenticating the swipe card's credentials. There actually is a third wire as well, providing common ground. There are a few different variations of the Wigand protocol in existence, but the original is the most common, known as the 26-bit Wigand format, or often just the 26-bit format. This is a very common open format, meaning that virtually anyone can buy compatible cards and readers and program them to work using the 26-bit format. It uses one parity bit followed by eight bits of facility code, 16 bits of ID code, and one trailing parity bit for a total of 26 bits. This was the standard for a long time and remains in use in many systems, though a variety of different extensions have now been built off of it. You may be wondering why the Wigan protocol is so popular today. The Wigan protocol originally caught on in the 1980s because of the simplicity and reliability of the swipe cards and access control systems using it. Wigan swipe cards cannot be erased by magnetic fields and are more durable than other key cards because they do not contain microchips. This made them reliable, easy choices for equipping systems with swipe cards. The Wigan system also made it possible to outfit facilities and systems with much longer cable runs, up to 500 feet, which was far more than similar wiring standards of the day. You won't see many Wigan cards anymore due to the more modern credential technologies developed, but the wiring protocol remains the standard for integrating scanners and card readers with their controllers. Virtually all access control credential readers, whether a biometric fingerprint scanner or standard swipe card reader, convert credential signals to a binary Wigan number for transmitting to the controller. Now let's look at some of the drawbacks. As reliable as the Wigan protocol is, there are a few drawbacks that contributed to it being phased out for regular use swipe cards. As the original 26-bit Wigan protocol contained one parity bit, eight facility code bits, 16 bits for card numbers, and 26 trailing parity bits, many systems and facilities were unhappy with the limited number of bits available and began looking for other formats capable of more bits for their swipe card systems. Newer extensions to the 26-bit format have been developed, but they soon ran into another drawback, the physical size and limitations of the card itself, which meant that there would be a maximum of 37 Wigan wires in a standard size card before reliability and clear readability of the data becomes affected or interfered with. For this reason, even systems now using modified Wigan systems are limited to 37 bits or less. If you liked this video and it helped you learn more about the Wigan protocol, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below.
Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to GetSafeAndSound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about the Weekend Protocol? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.